Dude, I'm, wa I'm looking at memes right now, dude. Can I just be on my phone for by myself? Jeez. Watching all my TikToks. <laughs> Tell us something that no one knows about you. What the fuck? <laughs> that was the big question. <laughs> that was the big question. No, I'll, I'll give you something. Let me think of something. Something. What was the question again? Tell us something that no one knows about you, except for Tiff. Tiff can know. When I'm asleep and I talk in my sleep, I coach people while I sleep. No way. <laughs> Tiff, one time she caught me sleeping. She caught me sleeping. We were both sleeping, and she was like, she heard me go. All right, just go ahead and grab those jump ropes and just hop on there for like two minutes. And then one night I was like explaining something about nutrition or something. That's probably not a good one though. So how many calories do you think you're burning a day? That's a good question. Probably like 2,000 or something. Oh, shit. Naturally, normally, with all that training and cardio. Or I think more. if you're getting ready for an athletic competition, yeah. If you're trying to lose weight and you're just trying to look good on the beach or something like that, probably walking is probably the best way. Dude, and then obviously like tracking, tracking your calories too, making sure you're in deficit on top of walking, probably the smoothest way. But because we're getting ready for a, a competition where we have to have good cardio, good conditioning, we gotta do a lot of rounds. Cause you know, we're gonna be fighting people. So it's like, best way to get ready for that is fight a bunch of people. <laughs> How are you feeling going into Feel so good, I feel a little nervous, which is normal. Uh, it's gonna be my first comp at black belt, but I'm just gonna try to keep it, try to keep my attitude more, less about the outcomes of win or loss and just more about how well I feel with the training that I'm putting into it. So I, if I feel good about the training from weightlifting to the cardio, to the sparring and rolling and drilling, then I feel like I'll have a good performance. And all the times that I've done well in comp, it's usually like that. Anytime I've done poorly in comp, it's because I'm really worried about the outcome of like, oh, I gotta win, I gotta win. Uh, obviously that's always a goal, but the preparation that you put into it, I think is more important. <laughs> Jeremy, oh, that's a new black belt. Point at him. Oh shit, don't point at me. Here. What are your, hey, what are your thoughts on the new levels. black belt? Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts, it's kind of like what Joe said. I feel like now it's like, holy shit, I gotta, it's like a beginning of a new journey and I, ha I feel like I don't know anything. And I feel like the things I do know, I need to sharpen up really, really sharp because if I'm gonna wear that belt, I gotta be representing. I gotta step up to that level, so. This guy's busting out of a shirt though. Look how big is your shoulder. It's just, Jesus uh, Christ, dude. I was in the South for a week. <laughs> you know, all that, I had, I had uh, a biscuit pot pie yesterday. Ooh. Like the biscuits Bro. were the pie. You can't even it tell was, me that I right don't now. Even, I don't even know. It <laughs> I'm make so sense. hungry. I'm gonna fucking. I know. I want to eat like this freaking plywood. I'm starving, right here. dude. <laughs> Get changed, dude. Hurry up. Jesus Christ. Dude. Teach us a little something. Nothing, dude. Teach us, brother. Teach us, brother. Alpid. Alpid. And then how are you? How are you? Vontes. Vontes. Alpid. Vontes. Alpid. There you go. Slap hands with our partner. And I'm gonna work right into my game right away. I'm gonna finish the position. All the way to pass, to sub. Boom, finish the sub, reset. Then it's Nori's turn. Let me go back and forth, he goes. So building that path from standing Taking your partner down or pulling guard, sweeping to submitting, right? That's the path we wanna get down really well. So whatever game you like to play, this is your time to be creative and kind of develop that game plan for yourself. Make sense? Anybody have any questions? We're gonna do this for a four minute round. We're gonna be alternating. You go, I go, you go, I go, okay? On three, one, two, three, let's go.
So as soon as your partner gets close guard, apply pressure, pop up to your feet, push away. Open up those legs, okay? Uh, we're gonna do this for time, three times each. Any questions? Cool? On three, one, two, three. So we wanna make sure our arms aren't going across, my arms aren't extended, and I'm not letting them get any grips. Time, real quick. Everyone's looking pretty good. Simon, come on, ready? As yeah. soon as I break the guard, we want to kind of pass from this little headquarter position. All right. I'm caging this leg. I'm not letting him extend or use this hook. I'm trying to keep his heel to his butt, and I can start pinning from here. All right, so as soon as you break the closed guard, transition to a regular guard pass that you like to play. Any questions? Everybody clear on the assignment? Cool. On three, one, two, three. Let's go. This little gap here. So if I'm really heavy over here, this is not really a good position for me. So I want to occupy this space. I want to camp here. Oh, right, so if he tries to get his foot in, try to get your foot in, yeah, no good. And I can manage this, this knee, okay. right? Because the worst thing I'll, is like this, and I'm like, ah, fuck, I gotta deal with that, right? This way we can kind of work a little bit more lower intensity, but kind of still play the position a little bit. Break those grips, clear the legs. He's got to regard, all right? That's the pace we kind of want to go at. Clear guys, any questions? Grab your partner on three, one, two, three. Keep moving. Good work, y'all.
Thanks for the work. Are you competing? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. I'm going to need it. Good shit. He's not ready for it. You done? Hey, Jem. Uh, Jem. Jeremy, give him a Jem, dude. Hey, hey Jem, give him a Jeremy. <laughs> dude, I know, I, I, I see, dude, honestly, I saw you judging me across the room when I was doing my hair. I was going like this because it's a freaking crazy mop. Should I say the gem that I said last time because you didn't freaking use it in the video? You sack of wine. Once you go black, you don't go back. Uh, shout out to uh, Kanji. I almost said it wrong. Kanji. For this embroidered belt, this thing's sick. I said, while I was rolling today, I was like, now that I'm a black belt, I feel like I gotta like let people work. But then I was like, what does Joe do? And Joe fucks everyone up. So I was like, I just gotta torch him. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what the right move is. I think it's case by case. It's a balance. Some guys need to get fucked up. Yeah, LJ loves getting fucked up. LJ's a motherfucker. LJ's yeah. a fucking hard ass roll. When some people are like, you know, like Gabo, I gotta fight for my life when I roll a Gabo. When I roll with this guy, I gotta fight for my life. I just don't even roll. When I roll with Joe, I gotta fight for my life. When I roll with Kenny, I gotta fight for my life. Nori's another one. LJ's another one. Luis was fucking bringing the heat on me today. Fine. And that fucking Chinese Japanese guy over there. So basically everyone. <laughs> basically. <laughs> so pretty much everyone. Yeah. Oh shit! I'm the problem. <laughs> We'll see you guys on the next one, dude. I don't know what you want me to say. Thanks I for like watching. That. I like no, that. thank you. Hey, honestly, for everyone watching, we appreciate you guys. Um, we're gonna have some more cool stuff for you. We're gonna shine the camera on Joe a little bit more so you can get him that knowledge and that noggin of what a smart guy he is at Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Joe's gonna love that you said that. Hey, fuck Joe, dude. <laughs> you should be here with me right now, dude. <laughs> Mrs. Ass. I'm Mrs. Ass. I miss you, Joe. Papa? I'm over here. Papa? I'm gonna have to compete in my first black belt tournament. He's not here all week, dude. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make some shit up. I'm be like, I don't even know how to do Delhi anymore. <laughs>